Campbell. There's no secret. There's no shortcut. Everything that is alive is conscious. Be silent. Be still and know God. Until you feel worthy, it ain't going to happen. Rigorous, ruthless, disciplined focus. You have to get to a place where you can work on yourself. If you are looking to live at the tip of the spear when it comes to health optimization, join my private membership group, Fully Optimized Health. Dot com and get the latest and greatest on hormone optimization, peptides, fitness, fat loss, and most importantly, raising your vibration. Again, go over to fullyoptimizedhealth.com and sign up today. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you may be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and of course, you are watching the Jay Campbell Podcast. And I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with the last podcast from Jay Campbell in 2022, John Baxter. How are you, my brother? Thank you, Jay. It's an honor to be on the show. I've seen a couple of your videos, and uh, it's just awesome to connect with you personally. So, uh, you know, wherever you want to take it, I'm down. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, I'm grateful to have you here today. Uh, so, you guys, let me give you guys a little bit about his bio. He is the president of an the Anti-Aging Bed, which they have been so gracious and kind to ship me, which I will be using in Mexico very soon. Uh, he's also the founder of Backstar Industries, the founder of Operation Honeybee, which you can talk about, which is a 5013C, and, of course, the producer of PPN News Network, which a lot of the J. Campbell listening audience is familiar with that. So that's awesome, too. Um John, before I, you know, and, and again, for everybody, today's October 27th. I have a very strong feeling that this podcast is going to run probably in December. Um, but, you know, as I've been doing really in the last three months, as I've been asking the guests who come on the show, um, you know, you can look at the state of the world right now is like, obviously, from a half class full perspective, or you can say we are in the craziest, you know, most disturbing times of all time. I mean, obviously, it's perception, right? I mean, we know that outside of the third dimension, there is no time, there is no linearity, right? So there's like in this dimension, you know, we classify things as like kind of where things are, you know, from point A to point B. But, you know, where are you from? And again, this is an opinion question, but where are you uh, on the future of sapien sapiens, say the next three to five, 10 years? And are you long or are you short? <laughs> yeah, great question. You know, the there is a I believe that there's a paradigm shift that started a long time ago, but uh, different people um, were awakened to these different facts, I would say. And some, you know, uh, I think people say it good, whether a guy is standing on land or a guy is underwater and they're looking at the same thing, right. who's right and who's wrong. Right. So, you know, this is just my opinion. Uh, I really think there's a going to be a couple of collapses. And of course, the one that I'm most for, uh, focused on is uh, the big pharma and the, the other types of classification in that realm. And there's good people there. Don't get me wrong. But Definitely. In, 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 uh, they're trying to do the right thing. They went to school for this. But on the flip side of that, you know, if you, you know, follow Albert Einstein, who it could be good or bad. He actually said the future of medicine is the, is the, uh, is frequency medicine. Right. Uh, Nikola Tesla and, sure. and your following definitely knows energy frequency vibration is the keys to the universe essentially. And so these types of technologies, uh, could have been in the hands of everyday people and the collapse of the financial system, which appears to be happening. Um, you know, different, different issues in the market, uh, uh, a stock market that is pumped full of money that no one even knows why Fake and money. How be real. Right. Could it be real? Right. right. No, I, I just don't see how that could be real. And, uh, you know, the, the collapse of the medical industry, we, right. you know, they've given themselves, uh, enough rope to just completely hang themselves. Totally. No one else had to do it. I'm not, I mean, we're speaking about it right now, but I didn't do it and right. no one did it. You guys did no. it to yourself. So the belief right. and the trust yeah. in a system that we were all familiar with is quickly, uh, you know, uh, people are questioning, thank you for the COVID, not, you know, uh, in, uh, in a different way, but thank you for waking us up that we are totally in a war. Right. Yeah. 
No, a hundred percent. I mean, I, I'm 100% in agreement. You know, as we, you and I were talking off air, we're in this like strange, like parallel timeline where it's like anything could happen at any moment in time. We all kind of, again, those of us who are awake and aware, which is the majority of people that watch this show, but it's like, we all go to bed every night thinking that tomorrow could be it. You know, we could wake up and a bank run happens or, you know, one of the two big to fail banks collapses. I mean, there's like a thousand different permutations that you and I could come up with here in five minutes that could all feasibly happen because you're right. We are witnessing right now, John, the collapse of the third dimensional structure, right? The structure of the third dimension is literally parasitic. I mean, if you literally think about corporations, I always tell people this. The very nature, the definition of a corporation is to outcompete its competitors. So if you think about that, if one corporation wins, then everybody else loses. And so there's no equitable standing for the rest of society. So this is a parasitic architecture inside the USA. And as you know, the USA, the USA is a corporation itself. It's not some democratic government between Republicans and Democrats. I mean, it's all nonsense, but you know, I don't want to, I want to talk about your technology and, you know, get into the deeper aspects of the show. And I mean, obviously our first point um, is, you know, the health system and what kind of a sham it is. And I'll start it off by, and you can respond to this. Um, you know, obviously like you, I'm into all sorts of alternative healing modalities and methodologies and technologies. Uh, you know, I'm a big, you know, peptide guy and, you know, they, they don't want peptides to be out there, right? Like the FDA is hammered pretty much all peptides. And the only way you can even buy peptides now, if you're me and you and your scientists is to go through research chemical companies, right? So it's like a circus, but here's the truth. And again, you won't find this on CNN or MSNBC or Fox, but <coughs> excuse me, um, literally, dude, right now, the state courts are piling up with V injury lawsuits. They are prolific. They are so big in all of the major cities. And of course, in the blue check cities, right? In the cities that, that had the largest adoption rate of people going and getting the experimental gene therapy. So like, they don't even have time to go after people that are selling peptides. They don't have time to go after people selling alternative technologies like you. They are going to be dealing, and you, and you know, I'm saying they, right? People are like, Jay, who's they? Who's they? John, who's they? I mean, <laughs> me, me and John, could, we could do a podcast on who they are, but we won't say who they are. But I mean, they don't have time with the current health paradigm failing to go after people like us. So what you're saying and positing is 100% true. It's going to happen. They can't stop it. The cracks in the dam are everywhere. It's just now a matter of time. It's not when, it's not if, it's when. And we're on that great precipice, right? This is what we've been waiting for. I know I have with 100%, you know, going man. through the traditional system. And, you know, I had lived a life of just being poisoned by my own products, like uh, shampoo and everything, uh, dude. detergent and everything else since I was a kid. So you know, that was just painful to go through. I, yeah. you know, so. It's crazy, man. Well, so like your thoughts though, just more along, like how toxic is the health of the world right now? You know, cause again, we can make arguments, the plastic, you know, to the contamination of electromagnetic frequency, uh, you know, to the water, to the air that we breathe. I mean, what isn't polluted? Well, I mean, uh, you know, one that never gets talked about is just obesity, right? Oh, yeah. But the two ones that I usually talk about just because they are a real uh, pandemic. Yeah. It's just lack of sleep and mental health. Right. I mean, those two are uh, just even after COVID and all the situation sure. with finances. That the That's at a dangerous level because, you know, was it lack of sleep costs the the world four hundred and six trillion dollar or yeah. billion dollars a year. Sorry, billion. Right. Yeah. And uh, mental health, uh, even more than that. So, uh, you know, these two, if you could throw a two, you know, kill two birds with one stone, you know, that's a, a great situation. Reducing stress is, you know, uh, a benefactor, of course, and reducing both mental illness and uh, of course lack of sleep you know the those two those two items if someone could run at those 
you know, that, that, that just helps uh, increase the vibration of humanity. And I told people this over many years ago, I even had that question today, Baxter, you know, how do we change this world? And I told the lady on my other podcast, and I've asked every truther or, you know, uh, health, uh, ne- uh, alternative per se health person, yep. right. Uh, told them, you know, the same thing. And really I came down to this is just focus and connection. Uh, heal yourself at such a level that you you are the most important thing as the individual. The individual holds the truth that they have. And uh, in regards to breaking a paradigm bar- uh, paradigm shift, if people can get focused together on a single message, connection, right? And that's why the division is so powerful because whether I say, you know, maybe – Maybe I don't. Uh, uh, maybe I'm a vegan, which I'm no longer, and maybe you're a carnivore, and I have an issue with that. And I don't. I keep my 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 ways and my fear up front with everyone. I live in a state of fear, and I don't like that you're a meat eater. And these are the stupid, stupid, right. stupid things where, on an individual level, we uh, we we use stupid stuff like that to separate and divide us further. That's right. Really. You know, just like the poster behind you, unlearn so that you can learn. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's funny you say that. Uh, there's a lot you said there I could unpack. But, you know, I always laugh at like, you know, let's just analyze veganism and carnivores. And by the way, I'm a metabolic flexibility guy, right? I'm all about fasting and autophagy and hormesis. I don't give a shit the way you eat, but, you know, eat to fuel your energy demands. Um, because as you said, everything is energy and frequency. Uh but it's like you look at it, it's gotten so hardcore, John, and so retarded at this point. Like the vegans now tell the carnivore people that meat is a poison and the and the carnivore people now say plants are poison. I mean, it's insane. I'm listening to this carnivore uh, video the other day and I'm like, this guy is a re- respected, you know, quote unquote thought leader in that movement. And he's talking about how plants are poisonous. And I'm like, in, in what state of being? Would you say something so stupid? God created this planet, you know, the ecosystem of flora and fauna and vegetation and animals. And then, of course, humans. And then I'm sure there's higher, you know, they are probably even higher than us. Right. But like at the end of the day, everybody eats whatever, you know, and I always go back to the lost teachings of Atlantis book, you know, the the guru, the sage, whatever he was, you know, he talked about he has a famous statement. I have it literally made into a meme that I send out on social media to inflame people every now and then. And it's like, look, plants are just as sentient and conscious as animals. Animals are just as conscious and sentient as humans, right? So stop with the bullshit. Whatever you eat, thank it, give it praise, and say thank you for allowing yourself to give me energy to survive. It's that simple. Don't judge somebody because they only eat plants and vice versa, animals. It's just insanity. And you're right. It literally goes back to the duality of divide and conquer. We have to keep them separated. We have to make people think that they have to be a Republican or a Democrat or a liberal or a conservative. I mean, it's nonsense, bro. Like until people start realizing that they are sovereign, empowered, and free, and that they can literally choose to opt out of the matrix system it's going to continue, bro, because this is what they do. You know this. We were talking off air. They they provide and they fund both sides. That's how it goes here. There's no one side better. You know, all these people out there right now are like, oh, the Republicans are going to come back in and everything's going to be better. Are you drunk? All the elections are fixed. <laughs> and if they do come back in, they've already swung their money and their efforts to that side of the thing, right? So it's like a joke. It's like all we have to do, bro, is start putting the anti-aging bed on our beds, right? And start listening to the Jay Campbell podcast and literally opt out of the bullshit. Get rid of your fucking TV. I mean, I tell people every day, like, why do you have a TV in your house? But, bro, I got to watch Kentucky on Saturdays or the Bengals on Sundays. I mean, you always hear the stories of people, why they keep it there. I don't watch it, but I watch sports or I record it. I mean, it's like, it's all fucking brainwashed, dude. It's insane. Like, what point are people going to wake up, John? Well, I think it has to do with um, 
just the dark night, you know, uh, that's why the darkness is there so that you will eventually see the light. If you're just swimming in darkness, everything exactly is right. uh, status quo and everything is comfortable. Everything is in fear. Don't move because this box that the my own brain created because of all the programming that's keeps right. me locked in in a state of fear, right? So totally that's no right. way to live. Eventually, you're going to crack. Go ahead. Try it. <laughs> You'll crack, and on the other side of that, you might you might awaken to a lot of the information. That's an awesome point, dude. You know, it's like you, it, 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 without light, there can't be darkness without light. There can't be light without darkness. I mean, literally, the darkness is gone as soon as you turn the light on. So it's like, yeah, I mean, it, it, but it really is true. I mean, this is a dimension of duality, and we chose as souls to be here to evolve and grow. But, I mean, evolving and growing happens – through the contrast, through the struggle, you know, through all the things you learned as a serial entrepreneur, you know, all the startups and the failures and startups, you know, and I'm not as serial entrepreneur as you, but I've started up and sold and done a bunch of things too and failed most. But it's through the contrast that you said the dark night of the soul. You know, I personally believe it's my opinion and it's going to lead to our next point about talking about sleep and how horrible sleep is on this planet right now. But I personally believe that, you really can't evolve and grow your soul through this divide and conquer duality paradigm until you've had a, a dark night, until you've had a near death experience, until you've had five business failures where you were literally on your last cent or you know what I mean? Like where you really yeah. truly had to look into the mirror and figure out how you were going to make it to the next day. Cause all these people, bro, that go to their fucking cush jobs and sit in their cubicles and may stay married for 40 years to the same person you know, and have no change. They, they don't change the neuroplasticity in their mind. They're in the same box. Yes. Their whole life. How can they change? How can guys like you and I even get through to them? They are literally glued to the television, glued to CNN, glued to whatever it is they watch on the internet, glued to Netflix at night, every night or every three nights with their wife. I mean, they, they don't really have the ability to change. And so it leads kind of into our next point. And honestly, I want to say this to you because I know you can talk about this. Yeah. What do you think the percentage of people are that still literally fucking plug this shit into their wall and sleep by this damn thing? Well, Steve Jobs wouldn't even let his kids be around it if that right. tells you anything, right? So, you know, the, you know our brains, our, our orbital socket uh, you know, if it penetrates, uh, it's no different than sticking a light bulb near your head while you're sleeping. It's literally the same thing. It just, uh, to our pineal gland, that is the same thing. That's just going to produce more, uh, you know, serotonin to keep us awake. You want, you're not going to be sleeping good. You, you could fall asleep with a cell phone next to you, of course, but you're just exhausted. You're not really, uh, you're exhausted. Your body is at a, a fight or flight state sleeping in, right? It's not right. a, uh, you know, the cycles of the moon and the sun, you need the, the opposite, right? You just don't need so much light. And this is man-made uh, fluorescent lights, typically man-made. Uh, and that's the, the system that we're talking about. You know, it's just a man-made system versus our natural self and our natural uh, understanding of our environment. So all this man-made stuff is just beating the hell out of uh, people, and uh, the cell phone is, is is something that we can't live without. It, you know, if you lose it for even ten minutes, it's like you you don't know how to get to point A to B. It's harder to subtract and add. You you lost your uh, contact with the world, which could be the best thing, right? Uh, in some sense, but also that's the paradigm we're in. We need our technology like we're talking on today. On the flip side of that negative technology, we've created technology to um, uh, penetrate the negative uh, technology, balance it out, if not uh, make it a healing environment. You spoke about duality. Everything yep. in the world, radiation goes from good and bad. Right. Uh, anything uh, that you can almost dream up and you could be pointing in one extreme. Well, the op opposite extreme exists as well. So that's right. Yeah, that's right. Well said. Yeah. Very well said. 
Are you currently suffering from a testosterone deficiency? Are you already using therapeutic testosterone? If you are, go to tottdecoded.com forward slash 10 dash questions and find out the top 10 questions you need to be asking your doctor about therapeutic testosterone. These are critical questions to ask your doctor. If they can't answer them, you need to find another doctor. Uh, it is crazy though with EMF. All right. So let's go deeper then. What is the best way to optimize your sleep? So I kept it very simple. And I think simplicity is key. You know, you just, you know, focus on three pillars, exercise, nutrition, and sleep. You know, if you can get past that at a high level, you're probably ready for the next thing, but sleep is the forgotten, uh, just the forgotten pillar is just, you never, we never really think of regeneration at a high level, but you know, if you talk to any bodybuilder, they are not uh, growing more muscle, uh, staying awake every day and just doing it. They're getting their growth uh, while they're sleeping. Hormones are being uh, processed through the body, excreted, and uh, if you're not getting sleep, you're out of sync. So you know, uh, uh, sleep technology at a high level. Um, uh, eating, eating, uh, correctly. And it may be different for everyone. And that might seem, but removing man-made stuff, right? Eat whatever you want, but remove the man-made stuff, right? The, the extra knowing that you have an option to buy meat without hormone or, right. you know, uh, getting more organic instead of GMO, you know, staying away from more pesticides. It seems like, Oh, that, that can't be true. But the farming industry already proved that they need this stuff for big pharma. Right. So they can't do without it. So, you know, ways to optimize, uh, get some exercise each day, get outside, breathe more air, more sunlight, get some grounding. The, that trifecta is super po potent and it's for free. Right. right? Uh, right. <laughs> keep your cell phone away from your nightstand. One of the most important things I can say about sleep is get out of your head. So, um, you know, the thing is, the reason why people can't sleep is that their mind is taken over due to their work and the stresses in life. They've forgotten about their body. They live oh, yeah. this. They only live this up. They're living in their head. What's the next thing to do? What's the next bill to pay? When's the next time I have to go to work? You know, all these things are brewing around. So if you're trying to sleep and you're not in really control, if you're not really in control of this quantum quantum body of yourself of yours you know you're going to be pulled you're going to allow your brain to take over yep. and that was the number one thing that we've seen as why people can't sleep uh and adding all these excessive man-made toxins whether it's the detergent you're using the shampoo the toothpaste it uh all these subtle things that we thought were safe are just polluting the body and uh, to get this stuff out takes a detoxification program at that level but these are simple things but you know going into sleep what we have is basically um, something to help kick start a pattern in your life so that you can build upon yeah we spend a third of our life in sleep and so one of the ways that we can talk about this today is through technology. Objectively, and I'll ask you this question if it's okay, Jay. It's just yeah. like, objectively, are we all subject to EMFs equally? That's a great question. I mean, it depends. I mean, probably not. Yeah, different levels of EMF, but if there's a cell tower, right? No avoiding it. I literally just had a podcast before you. We talked about that. I mean, like where I live in Marietta, there's literally three 5G towers within five miles of my house. And I'm not in like, you know, a big city. I mean, I'm in a hundred thousand, you know, place, a community in the mountains, but they're, they're everywhere, John. So yeah. How do you avoid it? Yeah, They're objective. So it doesn't matter who you are or where you're at. The 5G tower is there. You, it's going through you. Exactly. It's going through you and it's staying in you per se. It's giving you an extra charge. Uh, yep. You don't get this charge when you're completely grounded. That's the secret because when these charges hit you, you're a conduit. And guess what? The ground is where this dissipates. Right. So all yep. this extra charge going through us is 
upping our inflammation because uh, these gadgets that we have give ionizing radiation, right? So it gives you free radicals. It gives you, it gives you just enough extra uh, ionizing radiation. That means it's stealing electrons from your cells slowly. Your body is doing the best it can to regenerate, but over time, it's like overworking it, right? It's it's going to create an autoimmune disease because our bodies, uh, if you can think of all the cells as individual employees or uh, workers to keep this thing going, if you have people on strike because they're working seven days a week, 24 hours a day, that's our immune system. So, you know, if you want to take uh, take your health to the next level, and we are in that paradigm, right? The and, and we need technologies. A lot of us, not everyone, but a lot of us need the technologies as like a cheat code, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a cheat code. It's a biohacking uh, uh, protocol, right? To to get more um, health out of your out of your existence. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Well said, man. Um, the theory of aging, antioxidants and free radicals. I mean, I, you know, I, I talk a lot about this on my show. So, I mean, like we definitely know now that, you know, glycolated end products from a shitty diet, which, you know, you were talking about obesity and di- type two diabetes. I mean, let's face it, man, all these people are worried about dying from the V who gives a shit about the V when they're all type two diabetic and obese. I saw a statistic the other day. 70% of adults over the age of 40 in the USA are literally, according to uh, the BMI, obese. 70%, John. And by the way, that statistic was from 2019 before the C. So what do you think it really is now? I mean, all you have to do is fly across the country and stop in a fucking airport and look around. Yeah, I saw uh, the COVID increased it like uh, anywhere from four to twelve percent. So, dude, so eighty yeah. percent roughly of adults in the in America right now over the age of forty are obese. Think about that. I mean, you don't have to wait to die from the V. You're going to die of type two diabetes and whatever it spawns. And you can't get. Uh, they, it's very difficult to get off what they're the program right. You have to buy the. You have to buy the shots, and you got to prick your finger every day how much is that bro. costing everyone right it's, just- it's truly amazing literally amazing how sad that is literally insane and yeah. you had asked about uh you know you guys cover this a lot but i'd like to cover it just really quick is the difference uh um in regards to the theory of aging yeah right? please so yeah the theory of aging guys is uh one of them of course there's many different theories of aging and you can break it down but a simple one that kind of makes a lot of sense is just the antioxidant theory of aging. Right. So uh our cells are balanced with uh, a a pair of electrons whether it's 2 4 6 8 right the ionizing radiation or damage in our cells you know will rob an electron Right. There's just one going around the atom and it's uh, it and then it turns into a free radical. So then it's looking for a pair and it and it and it clumps and it and it tries its best to heal this body. Remember, this body is electrical. An antioxidant, the meaning of an antioxidant is an electron or electric electron donor. Yeah. That electron is the balance in the in, in the cell that you need to be healthy and not under so much damage and stress. So uh, that's an antioxidant. You can get antioxidants from supplements, food, ingesting. But the beauty of an antioxidant, because we're electrical, is that we can absorb uh, through conductive means and the ground electron antioxidants, which then supply the whole body. Uh, the balance of the electrons at the same time. So it's a beauty uh, that it does that. And on the flip side of that, the uh, free radical is a scavenger. And yep. in that sense, it's a broken cell and it's looking for that extra paired electron. And if it doesn't have it, it starts robbing your own body of it, your bones, all this stuff. And I lived with this. I broke my neck in my early 20s as a as a, a collegiate wrestler. And uh, that was a, that was my pain to purpose story. 
that got me down all the way down to this line. I took the passion that I learned in that sport when I couldn't do it anymore. I put it toward assisting other people, myself, okay, selfishly trying to make myself feel better. On the flip side of that, doing it for over 20 years as a veteran of the mattress industry, you know, uh, I've created so much stuff in the mattress industry. I actually beat a billion dollar company and I'm actually going to the Supreme Court in February oh, for a whole month to win another case. Uh, and I only say that because that's the passion that I have. I have that type of passion where show me one other guy that beat a billion dollar company on his own. That's amazing, bro. Congratulations. Years. And now I'm on my 15th year of this case against a well-known company. I call it the Mattress Mafia Sleep Number. Right. Thank you for giving me the, the pleasure of, uh, of coming after you in such a way that eventually this paradigm is going to shift. Right? right. And it's going to be uh, pull the curtains back yeah, and see what's exactly. going on. Yep. And you'll see. I'll, I will. I will. I will let you know about that case. And That's the awesome. Will happen. Look, man, I want to unpack all of that because I'll just add in. Are you using therapeutic peptides? Are you a new user? Maybe an advanced user? Maybe you're considering starting peptides. Highly recommend going to the link right below the peptidescourse.com forward slash 10 dash mistakes and download my PDF and learn what not to do before starting therapeutic peptides. We have one more point I want to talk about, obviously, your tech and, your, and the anti-aging bed solution, and we'll go deep on it. But look, man, you just said it. The veil is being pulled back. And people have no idea. I mean, we do. And people like us call us the awake and aware. But the average person, call them the sheeple, call them the unaware, call them the sleepers, whatever you want to call them, the NPC. You know, they're, they're literally, they have no concept. And it's like I say, like, and again, I'm really deep into the research on cancer because I, you know, I, I help people who have cancer. Like, you know, I do all the alternative stuff. I'm familiar with everything. I'm reading this profound book, which I highly recommend a guy like you get. It's called Light Medicine. It's brand new. I'll send you a link to it. But, uh, dude, chemotherapy is a scam. I mean, the idea that people don't understand that mutating a cell and killing all of the healthy God-created bacteria in the digestive system, the mucal system, microbiome, you know, all of your cellular networks, the people don't understand this is like a scam. And again, like you said, we can't blame all the doctors, right? Because they're brainwashed and manipulated and tricked. They go to medical school, Rockefeller Medical School, Rockefeller Pharmaceuticals, you know, they own big pharma. And so they brainwash these people in treatment for a disease that should never use radiation. It should never aspirate an actual, you know, ontological mutated cancer cell. I mean, it's so insane. So like, imagine, dude, when these people start finding out that like, actually, the therapies that people were using to quote, unquote, heal them were actually designed to shh and kill them in a way that keeps them around longer so they can be bankrupted by big pharma. That's how it works. I mean, I know that this will probably get deleted. I'll give you the file so we can have it. But I'm just being honest, man. Like, all of it is going to come down. There is nothing in the third dimensional matrix. I mean, you said the mattress mafia. I was going to ask you, what business or niche or vertical doesn't have a mafia in control of it? Where monopolies are the standard. The right? whole system, bro, is contaminated. We have to start over. It's like on the last podcast I was just on, it's like the golden age is coming and people like us are ensuring that it happens. But to get to it, you're going to have to survive the shrapnel of the previous system deconstructing. I mean, I mean that's literally the truth. Like you have to be awake and aware and be nimble, as my wife says, adapt and pivot. Because if you're living in your sandbox, bro, you ain't going to make it. There's no, you got no chance. Because it's all coming down. You're right. It's all coming down. And again, if you're not awake to it and finding out these, you know, dastardly things, you know, is too much for you and you die of a heart attack. Oh, well, you get another chance. <laughs> 
the, the next go around, you know? So it's like, but yeah, dude, it's insane. I mean, you know, you, when you said mattress mafia, you just triggered me to go off on that rant because what? there's nothing that doesn't have a mafia. You know, people, I told you we're moving to Mexico, you know, and people say to me, aren't you afraid of the cartel? And I'm like, bro, I'm more afraid of the state government of California than I am of the cartel. <laughs> yeah. Wake up. What are you not seeing? Right. I mean, bro, last Friday, I mean, you saw that, that the CDC is mandating the CV is the part for kids now. It's going to be part of their whole, you know, scam protocol. I mean, it's like, dude, like I said this on a tweet and it got, you know, circulated a couple hundred times. I'm like, if you live in a state that is mandating this for your children and you're a parent of those children and you don't move, you're guilty of a crime against humanity. It's just that simple. If that's a problem for you, you're fucking delusional. Wake the fuck up. Look at the state courts. Look at all the people who have been injured. It's piling up. There's not a conspiracy theory. I'm not a tin foiler. This is real hardcore truth. And if you're not listening and you're putting your own children in harm's way, then F you. It's literally that simple, man. Like, what, what, what are your motives? Like, where is your morality? Where is your integrity? It's nuts, bro. Yeah, why did they put fluoride, fluoride in the water? Do you know this answer? Because, because it works. Can. Right. It works. Right. right. I was going to say, because they can. Or it works. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's funny you just said that. You just triggered me again. So literally, two years ago, when I first moved down here to Marietta from L.A., when I escaped L.A., and no, I'm not Kurt Russell, but when I escaped and I came down here, I wanted to play a game with all the dentists we were interviewing for my kids and me eventually. Bro, I interviewed eight dentists about fluoride. Not a single one believed that fluoride was dangerous. I mean, I'm looking at these people in the face like, what fucking planet are you on in 2020 that you're here telling me right in my face that fluoride is okay? That fluoride is healthy. But again, this is Rockefeller medicine. They teach these people that lies, inversion of truth. There is no truth. It's Recommended lies. by doctors. It contains fluoride. Boom, yeah. you're sold. I, I, and then, you know, like this book has a whole chapter on amalgam fillings. And what the mercury in amalgam fillings, remember it was all about, oh, well, we'll replace the mercury with amalgam because amalgam is actually safer. The mercury vapor, vapor in amalgam, bro, is probably causing the majority of human cancers in people. Think about that. So We've been, we're, we're like a subspecies, bro. They've been just profiting off of us. We're like cattle, whatever you want to call it. But hey, guess what, man? It's our useless time. eater, right? I love that one. I'm just a useless eater. Bro, I'm it's time. Yeah, bird. right. Let's them meet. Let's them meet bugs. Let's them meet bugs. Yeah. Yeah. The useless eaters. All right, bro. Let's get into your, your tech because obviously I want to sure. talk more about that. I would like to show you a smaller version. You know, people at home realize, you know, we have uh, many different solutions that do the same thing. So I'm going to talk about a technology that took us eight years to create. Uh, it's the first stretchable, right, conductive technology on the market. And you think about how can a piece of fabric that's stretchable, breathable, uh, be conductive? It's almost impossible, right? It took me eight years, 20 plus years in the mattress industry, working with about 50 companies. I finally selected one after going at it many years. And we actually made the impossible happen, Uh doing what I said. We have the future of the grounding patents, right? There is no other grounding patent. The other grounding patents have went because they were recalled. So if you know about grounding products, know that they were recalled because they didn't have a stretchable, breathable piece of fabric. That's what took so long. And how did we do it? Well, uh, China can't figure it out. It's made here in the USA. And so working with Spider-Man, I created a, a coil system thread. It looks like a telephone cord. So when the threads actually looks like it's this big, it's actually this big. So that's why when you lay on this, it, it won't break. You can actually send electricity through this. And like I said, our body is our electricity. So when we carry an extra charge, if we put our hand on this, 
realize ours plugs in. Awesome. You know, you can pop this off. You can wash it. This little small piece is called a bio shield, and it's a, a very affordable. You can sleep on this. You can put it behind your computer. You can sit on it. Anytime you want to be grounded, you can use this technology. And it is conductive. It does wash. The, it is safe. There is a resistor. And we actually solved so many things. That's why we have the future of the grounding technology that we put a resistor in here that sheds, sheds dirty electricity in case it happens. It also stops any type of electrical um, uh, explosion. When I mean explosion, I mean think of a, a river flowing super fast. Uh, we get it down to a single file line, essentially. And so if you think of a four lane highway going down to one, that drop on the resistor sheds bad electricity if there is that situation. But realize uh, going through that one line, that's just clean grounding. Uh, at a level too, that this is a grounded technology, but it's also a multifaceted four in one technology textile. So we have grounding. And because uh, we've made improvements with silver, silver is a conductor. And when you have a conductor and you're uh, attached to it, you and the, this fabric are one. I am one with the ground that this thing plugs into, plugs into the bottom only. We become a circuit. Um, basically, this circuit is called a closed circuit. Right. Right now, I'm a live wire. I'm a live wire just standing bare, uh, with my shoes on on a concrete slab, which is an insulator, Wi-Fi's are increasing my, um, yeah. my inflammation, right? Extra voltage increases uh, inflammation. Extra heat increases inflammation, right? And this can trigger all types of issues with stress all the way up to autoimmune and even death, heart attack, you name it. So the, the, the interesting thing is, is that uh, when you, when you, Put your when you connect with this technology, you're going to reduce your inflammation and uh, relax your nervous system, and it helps you almost immediately go to sleep. So the there's the EMF shielding is the future of the grounding technology. Some people are using black pads, which are carbon-based polyurethane. If you've seen a yoga mat or a black piece of like uh, looks like um, fake leather. That is actually a semiconductor. It's actually a piece of polyester, which is plastic, right. mixed in with uh, carbon uh, carbon molecules. Carbon is a conductor, but the fat uh, the 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 thing with the problem with the carbon, it's a semiconductor. It can only dissipate. You're not really connected. You're dissipated connected. So you can't EMF shield with a non-conductor. I don't know if that makes sense. I know. No, no, it definitely makes sense. Now we talk about this kind of stuff on here. You know, I just had, um, you know, one of the world's leading uh, EMF guys. Uh, shit, I forget his name now. He's actually out here in Southern California. I apologize. I just completely just like his name slipped out. But no, my audience is very familiar with that kind of stuff. All right. Well, I'm going to put up your um, website here real quick here. Just uh, and we can just kind of walk through and you can show. And lastly, we have far infrared. This is FDA cleared far infrared antimicrobial silver those are the four grounding emf shielding far infrared that's fda cleared and uh number four far infrared technology and that's why we call it the anti-aging bed and very, very uh, cool. so yeah this is the bio shield if you want a, a little bit more affordable piece of technology if you want to go a little bit further a little bit more you get the pillowcase the pillowcase plugs in as well and um, as you can see, that's the, the plug in. The so, so this is the one you guys just sent me, correct? Yeah. And our number one seller, of course, uh, worldwide, we went global virally, is the anti-aging bed cover. It comes in this duffel, comes with a meter so you can prove the technology. All the stuff I told you today, I can prove with it. the meter that comes with it. Or if you want, buy your own meter and have the same rating. So the, the cool thing is, is I can put this on any mattress. I can bring it uh, with me when I travel awesome. and you're getting the grounding, which are antioxidants. You're getting EMF shielding, far infrared for better cellular respiration. And then you're getting the antimicrobial effect. Uh, epic. Okay. So questions, because I know the audience is going to have 
So this goes on as like a mattress pad and then your sheets over top of it? Yeah, so uh, basically the bed cover goes around kind of like a encasement yeah. over your current mattress. So you don't have to zip it. If you want to zip it, sometimes it works better. But if you want to be in and out, it it get, basically goes on there kind of like a mattress protector, but it's yeah. a high quality looking version of that. Awesome. Um, any other products you want me to show real quick here before I say stop sharing and just talk about how people can go? Yeah, just uh, maybe one more. Uh, we have uh, this wand here, and um, this What's is What's it under wand. on your website? What's it under? It's going to be under terahertz wand. As a top um, seller, frequency. Uh, yeah, it should be. It should be maybe one. Oh yeah, I see it. Terahertz wand. Yeah, we have five different versions, and this has near infrared, far infrared, blue light, and terahertz frequency. Very you cool. Use it to remove wrinkles. It, it's that type of quantum. This is a quantum energy device with ten years of study. It's uh, the the amazing thing is it's very affordable. You're talking around three fifty to start, and uh, you can use this on anything you have pain on, any issue you don't understand, even hair loss, uh, cataracts. Um, this is basically. Um, uh, this quantum device excites the cells. It offers far infrared, near infrared, and the terahertz frequency really just uh, annihilates uh, negative crap like um, uh, cancers. Um, just it, it puts a different frequency on those cells, wakes them up. And so your body, we don't heal anything. This technology enhances and helps and addresses but our body heals itself. And that's an important point. So this thing is awesome. So like, uh, what is the difference between the Pro Max and the, the 7.0 anti-aging red? I mean, it's just the, more the, the, power. the more frequencies of light, right? Yeah, these are light frequencies. It comes out as a blue light, but it has the two. And basically it goes uh, power, engine, uh, distance. And so the bigger the one, the more power. And, um, you know, this is the 7.0 I showed you. The classic is the 6.0 and just amazing results. You know, you, you name it. We have 57 technologies. Right. And a lot of people, people know me for that. I don't really get into the weeds, but we've got a Tesla plasma. We've got our own ground. We got the first only uh, grounded hyperbaric chambers. Awesome, man. Uh, which help with the oxygen and oxidative stress. So uh, we compile all this along with rife frequencies into a package. And, and so I'm showing you today those number one sellers that yeah. we created the biohack mattress because I've been doing this so long. Guess what? Seven, eight years ago, I trademarked Biohack Mattress. So we have a biohacking mattress awesome. made one out there. Uh, but it has conductive foam, far infrared, made in uh, Europe where they ban uh, fire retardant chemicals. You know, in Europe, they don't they don't allow this stuff. Here in the U.S., we're very much uh, rats, uh, lab rats. Um, but here in the U.S., everything has got formaldehyde and these thing, these chemicals that they're told to put in the mattress to stop the fire retard the fire test. So we use technology from Europe that's safe for human, proven safe, no cancer causing chemical, and so it does the same effect. They they can do it a thousand different ways, but here in the U.S., they choose uh, technology that just is harmful. So. That's the beauty of the biohack mattress. Hi, so we'll talk off air because I, I, I've got uh, a lot of things I want to talk to you about. Some of your technology Good. here on your website. Let me put this up. Um, okay, so guys and gals who are watching this amazing podcast and listening to us go off on all sorts of tangents. As I always say, support the amazing people that come on the Jay Campbell podcast. Uh, they have offered me a 5% off for any other products. It's you got to use the code. It's J A Y C. So most of you guys know that's normally my code. It's J C J A Y C. Uh, I do have their uh, bed technology. It literally just got here yesterday. I've not put it on my bed because I am moving and there's no purpose in putting it on this bed here yet, but uh, I'm very excited to talk to you about the wand. Uh, let me just ask you before I let you go about the wand. Um, and I know you can't make claims because I own companies too, but like, 
what kind of like cellular healing can it provide? Because I mean, again, I'm very familiar with the blue light spectrum. I mean, they have a, there's an entire chapter, you know, on the ultraviolet light frequencies and how powerful they are to heal cells uh, and to increase light uh, absorption in cells. But like, what 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 can't it do? What it can't do? That's a good question. Yeah. It's such it's such an all in one. When you start talking far infrared, near infrared, we yeah. need that red light. The blue light, you know, I had to learn a lot about that. Not a lot of people talk about. It. They just talk about the negative consequences of the blue light from your computer a lot of times with biohacking glasses. But there is blue light on the UV that excites cells. So um, that wakes them up, right, to receive uh, pho photo energy, photo technology. Uh, signaling technology to tell the cell to, you know, take it to the next level. And terahertz uh, is just a frequency that uh, is shown remarkable um, uh, benefits, including, you know, beating the heck out of using the light six to eight inches and using the light. Literally, if you have something that you can't address, it's really a good thing. Wrinkles, um, like I said, you can, you can shine it over the, your water and change the frequency in the water. Uh, they've got studies showing that it can increase your stem cell production. You got an organ that you can't get into. Well, this thing is so powerful. It's going six to eight inches deep with the, the with the near infrared and the terahertz pushing it. So this this uh, by, uh, a, a device. Uh, it's an all-around device, and it's one of these uh, future technologies that's on the market that no one else is even close right. to, right. to having, you know? Well, so, like, the $2,000 one with the blue light and the ultraviolet, like, you know, and again, I know you can't make claims, and I'm just asking, but, like, for someone that has, like, a skin cancer or some form of cancer, um, you know, let, let's say an early stage, you know, metastasis in their colon, uh, cause I'm thinking of somebody that I know, I mean, could you use that frequency technology to potentially, uh, you know, get the cells back to a, a healthy state? Yeah, we, we've seen people use this in regards to, uh, addressing a lot of things, right. Um, and, you know, using this in that area, you know, whether it's a cancer or something like that, it, it's going to help address that issue. Yeah. Probably the best best thing to say I can say. Um, yeah, I know. <laughs> but, you're not yeah, allowed to say anything. You're not allowed to say anything, right? <clears throat> They'll be looking for me one day. Uh, Dude, it's insane. <laughs> fuck them. Literally, fuck them. Yes. That's what I say. Well, John, you are amazing. I'm so grateful to have you come on this podcast and very grateful that you have, you know, persevered, so to speak, through all the ups and downs and the thick and thin. And of course, I'm sure the many attacks that have already come and the many that will still come because they are not out of power yet. So uh, again, I'm honored, privileged, humbled for you to be here. So guys and gals, so all of you amazing people that support the Jay Campbell podcast, support the amazing individuals that come on the podcast, obviously support John Baxter, support antiagingbed.com. Look at all those amazing technologies. Uh, and before you reach out to me, uh, you know, you know, I don't answer questions anymore to the general public. So if you're in my private group, of course, you know, I will, but uh, I mean, honestly, again, it's antiagingbed.com. Use the code J-A-Y-C. Take 5% off any of them. I will report back uh, with the bed once I start using it. So expect to see a lot more from me on this. Uh, my wife is looking at the terahertz one right now, and she's probably going to do damage uh, to my bank account, I would say, because she's always like looking to you know, help with fine lines and wrinkles as she ages and stuff. But I'm looking at it just for, you know, to have it as like an amazing healing tech. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, cause I'm looking at like soft tissue sprains and aches and pains and like being able to use it for that. So man, John, awesome, man. I appreciate you coming Thank on the you. show. Brother. Yeah, we, uh, we give back, you know, we offer this technology for free. So uh, you can, you know, come to Orlando, Florida, try it for free. And no one gives anywhere, anything away for yeah, free. Right. Just to prove our point is you won't buy it unless you see, see an improvement. We have so many people. Uh, we had lines around our building for over a year just to try to get in here. It's awesome. Man. And uh, so, you know, if you see an improvement and it works for you, you might want to consider it. And it's just, that's what people are seeing. The improvement, amazing testimonials everywhere. Uh, just uh, miracles uh, a lot of times. 
So John, it's awesome, man. Um, like I said, man, congratulations for everything you've done and all, all your perseverance and, you know, again, battling uh, some of these um, uh, mattress mafia companies and, and, and doing what you're doing. So again, I'm grateful. So again, guys support and remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We'll see all of you guys very soon. Thank you, Jay.